Swimmer's ear can be painful and irritating and may result in you paying a visit to your doctor for prescribed medicine like painkillers and antibiotics. Many times a visit to the doc can be avoided with simple home remedies and natural treatments. Don't forget, if symptoms do not get better within a few days, make that trip to the doctor. Swimmer's ear is a painful infection of the skin lining the ear canal brought on by contact with water. About 4 out of 1,000 people are affected annually by swimmer's ear, and the risk is increased for individuals who swim a lot. Also, studies show that once an individual has had swimmer's ear, the odds of getting it again are considerably higher. To keep the risk of getting swimmer's ear low, follow these tips. Keep ears dry. Dry your outer ear thoroughly after swimming or bathing with a clean towel. Never insert your finger or a fingernail or a sharp, hard object into your ear. Avoid swimming in contaminated water. To ease the pain, you can place a warm heating pad against your ear, keep your ear dry, use earplugs when bathing and showering, and avoid swimming or cleaning your ears until the infection is over. Some uh, other uh, home remedies uh, for a uh, swimmer's ear, uh, use a towel between a heating pad as a warm compress to soothe the pain. Do this only for a limited amount of time. Gently rub the ear canal with a cotton ball soaked in rubbing alcohol. Rinse the ear with a saline solution using an eyedropper. Garlic is used in a lot of home remedies and is good for rinsing the ear. Garlic oil can be purchased at the store or you can make your own garlic oil at home. One thing that has always worked uh, well that I have found out is the use of rubbing alcohol uh, to get any of the entrapped water that could be inside your ear. It will uh, reduce surface tension and, and let it escape. Also, there's uh, two or three drops of mulein flour or tea tree oil can be placed in the ear for easing the pain and swelling. 